Hey, Caleb, how you doing? Morning, Mario. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, man, thanks for having me on and, and uh, you know, really fo focusing some attention on small biz and, and, you know, this National Small Business Week. That's great. Absolutely. So what is the small businesses community, what is the small business community's role in the current economic environment and what challenges are they facing right now? So, so a small business role right now in the current environment is to, A, you know, hire and, and retain employees, B, have that dollar circulate throughout the community. When you hire people from the community, small businesses are community-based businesses. They have people that live there, work there, play there. That dollar circulates in those communities, and that's so critical. I mean, when you look at the U.S. Census Bureau, and we're talking about 99.7% of these companies are from 1 to 99 employees, true small businesses. They're really the backbone and the, the infrastructure of this economy from that perspective. So I think a challenge, though, is that they're getting a little overwhelmed, right? You, you don't have the luxury of time. Uh, the clock is ticking. People are trying to do more with less. They're wearing multiple hats. And I think they're really getting overwhelmed by all the technology solutions. And that's where I kind of try to step in with our blog, smallbizgomobile.com, and, and trying to educate these small business owners that may not have the tech savviness, but absolutely need to employ technology into their business to help them grow. Speaking of technology, what kind of tools are out there um, that are the easiest for small businesses to take advantage of? Well, number one, I mean, everybody's carrying, I, I say that people carry three things in America, the wallet, <laughs> your, your driver's license, and your cell phone. So from a business perspective, the smartphone is absolutely critical to success. If you don't have a smartphone, be it uh, an AT&T iPhone or uh, the Rugby, which is a ruggedized uh, smartphone, or a BlackBerry or an Android phone, Android phone, having your office with you on the go is absolutely critical. You can't be tethered to a desk anymore. And so to me, you have to have an internet-enabled device, like an like a AT&T a 3G phone, something like this, and you have to be able to have mobile applications that can solve problems for you. So in other words, like when I'm out and about, one of the clients that I recently talked to, he's a freelancer, he's a consultant, and he charges clients for his time. And I told him about an application called Airtime Manager. And what Airtime Manager does, once you install it on the phone, is it tracks the amount of time you're spending on a voice call and the amount of time you're going back and forth via email for that particular client. So at the end of the month, you could say, hey, I spent 25 hours on you, and I'm gonna send you an invoice. Well, that's recapturing lost revenue that you may not have had before. So I think mobile applications and going wireless clearly to me is a significant trend that small businesses need to embrace and figure out. Speaking of significant trends, how can small businesses take advantage of cloud computing and oh. software as a service? Yeah, this is great. Uh, didn't, you're, that's a great technical question that you're asking there. And so this is the ability to be able to have your data not necessarily reside on your actual devices, having that data reside on the internet and you tap into it no matter where you are, which is great for mobility because maybe you have a laptop or a netbook or an iPad or a smartphone and you want to be able to get to that data, it doesn't matter the device if you're doing it in the cloud. So I think number one, it saves on hosting costs because you can reduce your amount of um, overall fees. Number two, support is big. Many small businesses don't have IT support, so to be able to have your information in the cloud, if you will, uh, gives you a better way to support that. Um, although there are products out there like Tech Support 360 that can give you like a virtual help desk, and there are backup and go products out there to, that do the same thing, where you can kind of have that external hard drive that's out there on the internet so you can share access to that and share files with that. And I think that also speaks to collaboration, being able to have people from multiple locations uh, collaborate and get to a, a, a file that's up on the internet uh, really speaks well for cloud computing. So I think cloud computing is significant for small business owners and they should really you know, read up more about it. Go to our blog, uh, Small Biz Go Mobile, go to smallbiztrends.com, sbtv.com. They're all talking about virtualization and cloud computing and, and, and how to use that for a small business. Do cloud and software as a service solutions make sense for all small businesses or just ones with more sophisticated business plans? No, I think it's, I think it's relevant for all small businesses. I mean, I'm a small business myself and I'm using um, a customer relationship management tool. I'm using a CRM and it's by Salesforce. There are others that are out there called Nice Office from AT&T and others. 
and we're, we're not a huge small business, we're a small team, but we absolutely wanna manage our accounts, I wanna see what's going on in the pipeline, I wanna know when, how close I am to closing a deal, I wanna be able to see my latest notes about an account that I was recently speaking with. So absolutely, I believe software as a service is huge, uh, a huge benefit. Um, you don't have time to install software on your, on your personal computer or on that one machine. It just, it shouldn't be that way and that's gonna slow you down and I think it's gonna slow your productivity down as a small business. So one person to several, I think should be looking at software as a service. Shifting gears to social media, how important is social media in a small business's strategy? Uh, absolutely vital to some extent. Not every business needs to be um, on social media. I'm not one of those folks that'll sit on here and tell you, you have to be on social media. You, ha you have to run and jump on this thing in this bandwagon because everyone else is doing it. You need to understand how social media can impact your business. And that starts with first understanding what problems are you facing. If you need more people to come and visit your establishment, if you want to let people know on Wednesday nights you have a great Italian dish that's new from the chef, then absolutely you should be utilizing social media if your customers are on social media. So you need to do an assessment. Find out, are they using Facebook? Are they on Twitter? Maybe they're using Foursquare and Gowalla. All of these different social media sites are out there, but if you don't know where they are, you could be wasting your time, you're not gonna get a following base, and you're not gonna generate the activity that you're looking for. So first and foremost, go listen. Go to search.twitter.com, type in your product, your service, your name of your business, and see what's already being said about you online, and that will help you understand what type of conversation you should have. But ultimately, what you wanna do is you wanna build relationships with your stuff. If people feel like you're spamming them, if people feel like all you're doing is marketing messages to them and sales stuff, they're not gonna follow you. It's got, you have to become a resource and become a subject matter expert in your field first. Then you'll get the building of the followers and then you can start pushing out those deals, those specials, those cool things that you're doing. With all that in mind, what are the most important social media sites for small businesses right now? Okay, so I'll give you these real quick. Uh, LinkedIn is great for more professional stuff if you're doing consultant work. Uh, and you're really trying to connect with better networks and higher net worth people. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare.com, the biggest trend is location search. So Foursquare and Gowalla.com are two biggies. Go research those, find out they have small business sections on their website. Make sure your address of your business is listed properly with these sites. If people can't find you on their mobile devices when they're trying to check in, your business can lose out to the competitor. Thanks so much, man. I think it's, it's been great. I really appreciate uh, you, know, you focusing a spotlight on small business uh, and, and, and giving us a chance to talk about our blog. We really care about small business owners as being one ourselves. So we invite you and, and your audience to check out smallbizgomobile.com. All right. Thanks, Mario. Thanks so much. Take care.